going on everybody Z here and welcome back to some more planet crafter so in the last episode we built our little courtyard here we actually did some base redesigning here biodomes moved um all in the bottom floor we got some windows in here everything is looking i feel like a little bit nicer a little bit better i don't know what do you think leave a comment down below but today we're going to continue on uh we need to increase our insect um our insect stuff we need to increase that because oh, this room is backwards that's not okay what we need is we need this butterfly farm so we need 3.25 um kt kilotons i guess maybe i don't know kilotons possibly could be uh, we need to get that unlocked so we're gonna go ahead and increase our insect stuff now what is the best way to do that you might ask i don't know let me see so we got 15 on that guy we got 20 on that guy however we get multiplier bonuses by using that so let's see here did we ever throw oh you know what i know how to increase our rate do we never throw oh these are tree barks um let's do this i don't think we ever threw our our um our big bright pink uh butterflies back into here did we no we did not so uh we're not increasing anything but if we do throw our butterflies back in there Oh gosh, now I gotta figure out where I put them. Did I put them in here? I'm hoping I really did. Okay, I gotta figure out where the heck I put the larvas at. I didn't put them with the larva, did I? Like, there's no way that I would have responsibly have done that. Oh, there's one? There was one pink one in there. Okay, that's weird. I had three. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so if I put this in here, that gives us 160 grams per second, which is amazing. So what I'm thinking is that we maybe need to get another biodome like that and get more of the pink, um, more of those pink guys because they're uh, 800. They're, they're, okay, there they are. <laughs> they're 800% multipliers which is huge. That is like gigantic. So I'm, I think that's the best in the game. I'm not hundred percent positive, but I think it is. So, okay, hold on. We're at 160. So if I put another one in here, 320. Yeah, that's huge. That is gigantic. Okay. And then let's actually take a look here. We're at 515 grams per second. So we're at 5.3 tons. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and let's get another butterfly dome. So we need fertilizer tier two, fertilizer tree bark, and zeolite and super alloy. So let's get another one of those going in there because like, why not? It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. And then we can get our outside butterfly thing going as well. All right, you know what? I don't mind insects outside, but even on an alien planet where we brought you to life, I don't want you in my, in my place, okay? I like to sleep insect free, so you're gonna have to leave, all right? Do you understand? Better not be here when I get back. Okay, so let's see. Fertilizer tier one. Fertilizer tier two, we need a squash. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right, and then I need a fertilizer tier one again because this requires a tier one and a tier two. My gosh. Uh, so we need two algae and two eggplant. Well, let's go grab some eggplant over here two eggplant and then we need two more algae we have to go outside and get that hey what did i tell you i told you to get out of here man i don't want i don't want i will call out the, the services to have them remove you they'll spray everything and then you will have a bad day you understand you better leave okay let's grab some algae i need to move the dock too gosh i feel like i have so many things to do <laughs> I just need to, I need to spend one of these days to just go through and do absolutely everything I need to do. Okay, fertilizer tier one. Okay, so we got tier one, tier two, tree bark. We need zeolite and two super ally. I think we can manage that. Um, oh, actually, I don't know. Might be a little low on the zeolite. We might have to go out and find it. Oh, there's super alloy. Zeolite. My storage, my inventory and my storage is just, it's trashed right now. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go out and get some zeolite. So, 
Lucky for us, I do know where some zeolites at. There's some up there because I don't think I grabbed all that stuff since we uh, started the update. Because I think when you, I think when there's an update, pretty sure they replenish like all the resources. <laughs> so there's never a better time to play a game than while it's getting updated. Because then you don't ever, you don't ever run out of resources. Because every time the update, you get new ones. Yeah, Celia, here's some zeolite, which I'm pretty sure I already came up here and got these before, but I don't know. And I'm also pretty sure that we could put a mining machine up here, and I think we could probably mine zeolite, which, um, again, on the list to do. All right, so I gotta grab some water, and then we're gonna get this built. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, all you YouTube members and Patreons who are uh, supporting supporting what I do. I really do appreciate it. Um, the end screen, I did get the end screen finally updated. It had been outdated for a while, uh, so I'm going to try to keep on that. Now that we've moved. Should be able to uh, should be able to focus on that a little bit more, but yeah, thank you all so much for uh, for the additional support. I really do appreciate it. So, all right, let's get this butterfly dome in here. Um, perfect. That looks good. And then let's go ahead and grab the other pink larva. And then I, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we go look for another pink larva because why? We might as well have 800% bonuses on these guys. Like, why not? Um, okay, so that's this one. So now throw that in there. That's another 160 grams per second. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's clear our inventory and let's go see if we can't find any more pink larvas. Um, let's just dump all that. I'm gonna take some water, some oxygen. Water, oxygen. Let's go ahead and grab some foods. And then uh, we'll head out. Okay, that looks good. Now, if you don't know where we found these amazing little pink buddies at, we actually found them. Hold on, let's pull up the map here. Uh, we found them, zoom all the way out. Right in this area, there is actually an underground mushroom cave, mushroom biome, if you will. Huge mushroom biome. Uh, and we found them in there. So we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna take my teleporter because teleporters are the best thing. We're gonna take it to the waterfall. Shoink. Perfect. And then, oh, you know what? I was wrong. It's actually right over here. We're gonna see if we can't find some more of these butterflies. And you know what? I might grab a few of them too. If I can find more than one, that'd be great. Um, but if I could find one, that would be that'd be good as well. Because then once we get the uh, the butterflies, butterfly thing unlocked, we could also put them in there too. So, oh, this area is so cool. This area is just so cool. They did such a good job with this. Oh, secret secrets. Oh, I want all the secret secrets. I'm not deleting the chests. Don't delete the chests. Whatever your whatever your heart and soul tells you to do, don't delete them. Because every time they update them, guess what? <laughs> they always uh, they always refill. <laughs> so don't delete them. Actually, I wonder if they just bring the chests back. Not 100% sure. Look at this tree, this magnificent tree. You know what's going here? But I can drink this. Oh my gosh, I can drink the pink water of super susness. Can we do anything with this mushroom tree? No, it's like it's like almost holding up the whole area here. All right. Um. So what we're doing is we're looking for some super glowy, lar like this guy. Yeah, we're looking for those guys. These guys are super easy to find because they, <laughs> they're so bright. They shine bright like a diamond. Okay, but we have to like stop to let them load in here. Any super pink glowy larva, please come to me. If you could please find your way to your nearest astronaut person, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. Oh, there's another chest. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff in this one. This thing has like almost four rows full of stuff or three. Yeah, I had like, yeah, I had four rows. Well, I had three full rows in like uh, the beginning of a fourth, which I don't think I've ever seen that much stuff in a chest before. Okay. Come on. Come on, glowy glowworm. Where are you? <gasps> there's a glowy glowworm. All the way over here. Hello there. 
There must be a storm. Yep, definitely a storm going on outside. Oh, it's a meteor. Meteor shower thing. Is it one? I wonder if it's a pulsar quartz one. Um, hold on a second. That might have been a pulsar quartz one because I only heard one. I only heard one crash. That could have been a pulsar quartz one. Okay, uh, we got two. We got two more uh, larva. Let's let's go see what that was. Because if it's pulsar quartz, I'm, I mean I'm always down to collect pulsar quartz. Always down for that. Oh, what is in here? Oh, there's more, there's more pulsar quartz. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave that there because that's not going to go anywhere. But the meteor is... Okay, let's see. I was underground. We went this way. It sounded like it hit over here. We should be able to see some rubble from where it hit. Oh, did it hit underwater? Oh, right over here. Okay. Pretty sure that this isn't normally here. Okay, what were you? Oh, it was a pulsar quartz. I knew it. I knew it because I was like, man, it sounds like there's just one. One single. Oh, come on. Let me get that one. Whenever there's one singular... Uh, impact. Pulsar quartz. That's what it is. Is there pulsar quartz in here? I can't. Oh, I can't get. I can't get in here. Let me. Oh, there's one way out here. Oh no, my inventory is full. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. You know what? I'll consume an eggplant. That sounds good. Grab that. All right, my oxygen's a little bit low. I'm not gonna use a, uh, an oxygen canister. We're just gonna go ahead and head back to this thing over here. That'll work. And we're gonna go put the, um, the larva in the dome. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop my inventory off. And then we're gonna see how close we are to the, uh, the next butter, the butterfly deal. All right, so second butterfly dome. We also need to get some uh, foundations under this guy because it's just floating and it looks terrible. <laughs> I don't like that it's just floating. All right, so there's that guy. So that gives uh, 320 grams per second. Fantastic. So let's see how close we are now to actually getting our little butterfly deal. Okay, so 3.25. We're at 2.66. Wow, we are still not moving very fast, are we? Huh. Okay, you know what? We could do this. How much is it? 172? With a 230% multiplier? Guess what? 800% multiplier. 600? Holy moly, that's way better than those biodomes. Oh my gosh. See, this is why we need to get that butterfly farm unlocked. So the reason I have this now, in case you're wondering, um, and if you missed it, when I first played the update, this was actually in a different uh, spot as far as research wise goes. And I went ahead and built it and then they, ch <laughs> they changed it. So uh, before this butterfly farm, I think was before this butterfly. Pretty sure it was right here. And then this larva was the last one. And then they changed it to where it's like now like way more expensive. So that's why I have one. Um, is it, do we see any movement now? 2.66. Oh, it's plants. Oh my gosh. It's not even in six. It's plants. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I'm, ah, I miss. Okay. So you know why it's not moving is because we deleted so much stuff. Ah, it's plants. Oh my gosh. I'm a dummy. I'm just, I'm, yep. Mm hmm. I mean, plants, we have like a lot, but like, not. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> good to know. Um, 
Okay, what do we got here? So plants is 680 grams per second. What? This is a 250% multiplier on the um, on that tree. So what we need to do is we need to get more plants going here. So let's see here. Um, trees. Is there one that's way better than the other? Okay, so this tree seed Amora, 400%. Isn't there a tree that uses the golden flower? You see the Mora. Which one is the Mora? I'm trying to figure that out. Is it? It's not this one, is it? Is this the Amora? This isn't the Amora. I'm pretty sure this is the regular one. This is like the the cheapest one. Yeah, see that's Solius. Okay, so I need to make another oh man, look at the look at the tree spreader tier three. Look how far out it goes. It looks so good. So good. Okay, let's get let's see if we can't get another tier uh, tree spreader tier three in here. And then we'll go ahead and try to make the um oh my gosh, look at how big that is. That is epic. That's so cool. Um, and then, <laughs> sorry, I get so distracted. There's so many cool things. Okay, so tree spreader tier three, two fertilizer tier twos, bacteria, tree bark, and zeolite. Okay, so that doesn't look too terrible. Um, So fertilizer tier two is fertilizer, algae, squash, and methane. Okay, so that's not bad. So let me go grab some, let me go grab some algae, and we'll get that, we'll get another one made, and then we'll, um, I gotta see though, because I thought we made a tree inventory full. Oh, that's right. I still have a whole inventory full of stuff. I thought we made a tree with the golden seed one, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know. All right, so now I just need some methane. Let's hope that you guys have been doing your jobs. You have. Fantastic. So let's grab that. And then, yeah, we're going we're gonna to we're gonna have to do some research here to see if we can't figure out where what tree was the golden tree unless that's maybe the one that's already out there i have no idea okay so now i need super alloy to super alloy bacteria sample and a tree bark you know what we have to make a bacteria sample which i believe is just three algae and water okay okay so here's a golden seed right here um trying to decide if i want to utilize that golden seed or not Oh, we, uh, no, I was gonna say we have another one, but we don't because I want to make sure that I have one golden seed for, you know, just, uh, just as a golden seed. What is this? Is this a flower spreader? Okay. Let's do this. Let's take the, let's take our golden seed and put it in there. And then that will give me the safety of knowing that we do have golden seeds out. So let's figure out what tree might be the golden seed tree okay so i don't have any other golden seeds anywhere hmm and i know for a fact we found multiple golden seeds let me like i have no idea where i would have put any other golden seeds at Okay, let's go look at this tree thing here. I'm gonna look at these trees and see if any of these like provide a way. Oh, okay. So there's the tree seed Amora. That's 400%. 400% is the is the highest crafted one that we know of. But I'm wondering with a golden seed if it would be much higher. You know what? Are the golden chests back? I don't even know if the golden chests are back. Let's go see if there's a golden chest back because. If they are, one of them would be right in here. Like right in here. Oh my gosh, I think they're back. Oh no, they're not back. Okay, so that one's gone. What tree are you? 175. There's another 400. Just curious, because I don't... I don't remember what the golden seed one was. All right, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I didn't see any trees that would indicate that they're any better. So we're gonna pull this golden seed. 
we're gonna pull that and we're gonna do a research on it and we're gonna turn it into a tree i'm hoping that it turns into a good tree um okay so let's see tree bark mutagen and then the tree seed or the regular seed okay so i have mutagen uh tree bark mutagen and then the golden seed okay so let's just try this research tree seed plium what hold on a second the plium is not even a very good one oh it's not in here okay so the plium oh so the plium was the golden seed one okay the, well the plium is over here and it wasn't that great actually that's not the one that's already in here is it no humulora or whatever plium was over here and it was only like a 250 percent bonus which is crazy because if it's a golden if it's the golden seed you would think the golden seed it'd be worth the most you know um yeah right there three it's 350 percent whatever take it out and put it back in if it says anything yeah it's only 350. um the the one over here is 400 so we'll just swap actually i'll probably just go ahead and make another 400 percent one then and we'll put the golden seed back into the flower spreader interesting i wonder why the golden seed is not the best so let's see what tree seed was the top of the tier it was the soul no the amora that's right uh so it takes the volness plant which i have a volness plant and let's go ahead and make that happen so that that and that research the amora start sequencing okay so we'll go ahead and we'll use this tree for our tier three okay and then hopefully get our plant matter going up faster so the seed is still being crafted however i want to ask you a question i'm going to ask you a question and i'm going to do something regardless of the question but you still leave a comment down below and then depending on what people say we'll change it next episode because you know we can change things but what do you think we should do as far as the tree spitter tier threes because what we could do is we could set another one directly next to this one and make like a super dense jungle right here where we get you know a whole bunch of trees in one area or do you think we should spread them out and try getting like trees and vegetation all over the map um one super dense jungle sounds fun pretty easy though honestly probably the easiest way out getting flora all over the map is much different <laughs> because um i mean we could use we could use grass spreaders and flower spreaders and tree spreader tier threes and things like that we could put those all over the map um, but leave a comment down below let me know what you think actually this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do i'm gonna put the other one next to this one we're gonna start with the dense jungle and if you think we should try to get flora all over the map leave a comment let me know because I'm, I'm actually curious can we even see can we see the oh you can you can actually see the trees oh that is super cool actually that's actually really cool so this is what i'm thinking if we're gonna do this whole like entire map thing i think we should leave the desert a desert um i think we should try to fill in like this area right here with trees like the green area obviously um and i think we should do some oasis stuff in the desert you know maybe like around these puddles um that's what i think we should do but yeah leave a comment down below let me know what you think let's go see if our seed is done now and i want to put it right next to the other one okay i want to put it right next to the other one and see if we can make like a super dense forest <laughs> uh it might let me it might not though no it absolutely will let me okay so we put that there so let's go ahead and throw in this guy so that is giving us uh plant 680. wait what 680. what oh it's an oxygen multiplier 50 31. Mm. <laughs> uh, i thought it was a plant multiplier it's an oxygen multiplier it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter oh my gosh okay wait a second 
So hold on. These things. Okay, so that's an in, the in insect bringing an insect multiplier. So that's why I was thinking a tree would bring a plant multiplier. Nope, it's an oxygen multiplier. Okay. Um, all right, so now these are growing, right? We're at 3%. Oh my gosh, this area is going to be super dense full of trees. It's going to be great. I can't wait. It's going to be so funny. Um, and then, oh, I need to get more of these things going too. Because what are actually... These are giving us 95 grams per second for plants. That's not bad. But I want to see this other tree pop up here. So it's going to be like the... What, like a, a like a palm tree looking thing maybe all right so we're gonna let it do its thing i'm gonna go ahead and grab some water and then uh, we're gonna let it grow we're at 14 percent now i'm out here tree hunting trying to spot the new trees <laughs> what if they don't grow what if like what if the trees can only grow so dense and like since we have another one right next to it it's just not gonna let any grow Cause I don't see any, maybe, you know what? We might not even see any until like 25 or 50%. So, okay. All right. Continuing waiting. I'm just, I'm anxious. I want to see the trees. Oh, oh, here they are. Okay. Okay. Here's so here we go. We got some trees. We got some trees. They're just not growing in very close. Um, but they are growing in. So yeah, here they are. Here's another set of trees right here. Here's some right here. Okay. So they are filling in. They're filling in the areas, just not super close to the base. I love, I just, I honestly, I really love how this one tree just came up right there. That is like super cool. Um, any more trees coming in over here? Not really seeing any. Anything like peeking through over here? No. So maybe we should, I'm going to let them grow at 100%. I'm going to let it go all the way to 100% and see, see what, like, you know, what comes up. But I'm thinking that maybe... If we want to actually get like the most out of these, maybe we should have them spaced out a little bit. Because what are we at percentage wise right now? I mean, we're only at 27%, so we'll just leave it and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got some trees in here. Um, a few of them poked up through, uh, through over here, so pretty cool. You can see we got some over here. Um, yeah, you know what I've noticed? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. So I actually logged off, but, but between the last cut and now, and I have noticed that um, when you log in and log out, the trees actually change. So if you remember last cut, there was a big tree here with a root like that. That was right here. That tree is gone. And then these came in because these ones weren't here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know what the deal is. Like you log off, log back in, and then they change. Also, I don't remember this rock being here like that, but it probably was. Um, I'm kind of losing my mind here a little bit, but yeah. So we have trees. Um, we have bigger trees here. So, yeah, I don't know. But that is actually going to end this episode. I was hoping to go ahead and get the... Um, I was really hoping to get that that last butterfly thing unlocked. But we are still just a little... Still just a little off. Not too bad. So, next episode, we'll go ahead and get that unlocked. We'll play with that some more. And then once we're doing that... Um, yeah, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these. Do you think we should leave them close together? Or do you think we should separate them? Um, I'm curious, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know. And, uh, thank you all so much for coming out again. Thank you so much for, uh, the support on the videos and things like that. I do appreciate it. Also, hold on. Let's look at this. Um, oh, so those trees are like these little guys right here. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And then the, there's all the algae on the, uh, the water. Um, I wanted to look at it before we like left. So, uh, very cool. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.